Now to those protests erupting in Hong Kong on the anniversary of Hong Kong's return to China. Thousands taking to the streets, some of them trying to smash their way into a government building there. ABC's James Longman has the latest. James, good morning. Yeah, good morning. We're, thousands are back on the streets of Hong Kong, and many have now actually made it inside that government building around which protests have centered for weeks. Some have taken to vandalizing the Hong Kong emblem inside the legislative chamber. This is the third major march against an extradition bill, which would send those wanted to, by Beijing over to the mainland. It's already been suspended, but activists want it gone entirely, and they're calling for China-backed Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam to resign, as the U.S. seeks to redefine its trade relationship with China, Donald Trump has held back from voicing explicit support for the movement. But given that today is also the 22nd anniversary of Britain's return of Hong Kong back to the Chinese, that's a symbolism not lost on the demonstrators. Many feel this is part of Beijing's long-time efforts at dismantling the freedoms the British system was meant to enshrine. Robin? Quite a scene there, James. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.